But I think the future is something that we define ourselves. I look at the 50 times I've been around the sun and wonder what that next 50, next 100 is going to be about. Some of the stuff I thought was millennial tech may be stuff that's just 10 years down the road getting energy out of the ocean. Migrating toward mesh networks. There absolutely is a correlation between science fiction and technology. The future is really fertile. Where do we go next? That's always the, the fun question. One of the resource challenges the planet has is with clean water. It's a resource that many of us take for granted. Using nanotechnologies, we believe we can have filters that can extract toxins, bacteria, to provide clean drinking water for the planet. Sensors will become pervasive, and every object will have sensors. When we connect the data, it's where those intersections, how we connect that data, where the big breakthroughs will come. We're already at 7 billion people. By 100 years from now, how big will our population be? 14, 15 billion? We have to find ways to be able to provide new energy resources that we don't have today that will be necessary by that time. We as a team at Lockheed Martin are taking some enormous strides at looking at simple solutions to get abundantly available energy. I think OTEC is a wonderful new opportunity to drive energy from the ocean. The utility of space, it welcomes our presence there for manufacturing. All classes of materials that benefit from no or near zero gravity. In terms of space travel, I think we're going to probably use a lot of the concepts of electric drive. We can accelerate these plasmas to very high velocity, electric. Robotics will help us to discover light on other planets. Everybody at some point in their life gazes up and just wonders what could be out there. I can't imagine that the one spark that led to life here on Earth did not lead to sparks of life elsewhere. What can we do today to give us something better tomorrow? To try and make the world a better place through what I know and what I can do, that's what motivates me. So we truly understand what makes up the bigger picture of what we see as the laws of physics. There are things that could be unimaginable to us that will definitely be a commonplace part of our life in the future.